Hello, my name's Tracy Maloney and I'm one of the Deputy Programme Directors here at Equalitas and I'd like to welcome you to the first of our um, curriculum conversations. Um, the aim of the Equalitas curriculum is to provide a sequence of training which offers trainees access to both expert practice, research, all at appropriate times in their own training. Um, phase and subject specificity are central to the way in which our curriculum is planned and delivered. And we're committed to producing teachers who are confident professionals, um, capable of reflecting habitually on their own practice and learning effectively from their work of their peers. Um, we want our trainees to be intellectually curious and to engage with and evaluate the best available evidence of our profession. We encourage both innovation and adaptability, um, instilling the confidence to make decisions to improve the outcomes of the pupils that they teach. So we really want to ensure that subject specificity is at the heart of our curriculum. So the core training days are run in subject groups by subject specialists um, and subject days offer deeper curricular content. This allows our subject specialist tutors and school mentors to coach trainees even further. Um, and within school also, we have your own um, instructional coaching. So there are a number of changes to the EQ curriculum as we look ahead to 2022-23. Fundamentally, at the, at the heart of that, sits our intention to harness the collective subject agencies. Um, we've got new subject leads, so employed to lead, but also to develop the curriculum for each of our cohorts. Um, moving much of our training to face-to-face -to -face or live virtual means that trainees will be able to forge greater connections within their own peer group. So there are a number of um, benefits that the Equalitas curriculum offers to trainees. We're research led and we use the best available evidence to guide our thinking and planning. Um, subject communities are central to our vision and we've got subject experts. So we cultivate strong links with subject associations and we challenge our trainees to be an active participant in the future of their own subject. We use the expertise of our partnership schools to help sustain the subject expertise and subject specific um, pedagogies. These are vital to our curriculum success. So in addition to our training days, we also offer two whole cohort conferences where we aim to provide further stimulation and challenge our trainees using a wide range of external speakers. And to further benefit trainees on um, the Equalitas course, we've got our Professionals in Residence programme, and this affords trainees the opportunity to work with disciplinary experts, widening cognitive horizons and helping them to understand the value of partnerships. Um, next year, we're going to be working with a scientist, a medic and a writer in residence, um, and they'll be partnered in the subjects. And we feel that this will help the trainees to know where their subject can take pupils, and in particular, for raising aspirations for pupils. So we've also structured our curriculum with trainee wellbeing at the forefront of our minds. We know that we must shoulder some of the burden of entering a busy, often demanding profession. And our aim is to equip trainees with, for a long and a happy career in teaching. So in order to achieve this, we've ensured that all our training activities are meaningful, it's well-structured and easy, easily accessible to trainees. Um, we're, yeah, we're also offering an Equalitas electives programme it's alongside our curriculum and we're excited about this um, because as times change, the needs of our cohorts will too. Um, the EQ electives menu allows us to respond to changes and use the expertise of our um, curriculum programme team and beyond. Um, so the short webinar courses enable us to be adaptive 
to the needs of trainees that are perhaps beginning at different starting points in their educational journey. It also means that we can respond to feedback from schools in a more timely fashion, offering further development in focused areas. Throughout the course, trainees will attend a number of um, in-person training days. Um, there'll be eight core training days, along with two conference um, opportunities throughout the year. Um, these are not always in person, but they are essentially um, either live virtual or coming into a central location so that they can meet as a whole cohort. In addition to that, they are also um, have access to their subject training days. They are different for primary and for secondary. Um, they're spaced across the year. So that would be additional um, six or four training days according to the phase that are dedicated specifically to subject development. Um, you might expect there to be the same themes in the core days as perhaps um, we will have covered before in our curriculum, except that this time they will be through the subject lens. So we are looking at highlighting those um, quality first teaching principles such as behaviour for learning, how children learn, um, thinking about SEND, EAL provision. Um, also, on, in addition to that, we are looking at ways in which we can encourage trainees to be more reflective and to develop some research behaviours of their own. So a typical training day would be a, a 9.30 for a 10 a.m. start, and we would hope to end the day by 4 p.m. Um, I think what's really important to consider alongside attending the training day is that, of course, we expect trainees to reflect and note and ensure that they keep um, evidence, if you like, of the information that they have gleaned and gained throughout the day. And we do that with the use of an evidence record, but we are very committed to ensuring that that evidence record is completed on the day and throughout the day and by the end of the day. Um, because as I highlighted earlier, we are quite keen to ensure that um, trainee workload um, remains manageable throughout our whole course. Um, so trainees would be uh, also receiving expert guidance on those days, expert instruction from um, subject leads and also um, in addition, visiting speakers when we're looking at a particular spe uh, specialism such as SEND or looking at the RSE curriculum. Um, they will have the opportunity to discuss and to work on particular areas of the curriculum. Um, we're placing a great deal of emphasis on working through um, models and having worked examples by subject experts in order for trainees to be able to have very tangible um, uh, particular examples that they can go away and use within their own teaching. So sharing resources and sharing expertise is quite a feature of those training days too. Um, one of the more challenging aspects of um, a trainee ITT program, particularly for trainees, when they're working in schools and it's, uh, and it's school centred, is ensuring that they have the time and that they have the space to develop and apply the particular um, techniques and particular work that they work with on their, with their subject leads and on their subject days. So giving practical suggestions about ways in which they can use um, particular ideas within their own planning, and then helping trainees develop that application so that it has real impact on pupil outcomes is something that we've considered a great deal. Um, we know that trainees can become quite overburdened with the volume of new knowledge that, that comes their way in a training program. Um, and that's something that we've really tried hard to mitigate for, to ensure that we have a good, strong learning platform with 
excellent materials and resources, um, and also that we structure their thinking and their application um, on our training days.